Yeah, all right, lads. So today we're going to be reviewing Inform Matteo Valbuena plays for Dynamo Moscow in the Russian Premier League. He's five foot six tall, right foot. He's got high medium work rates, a three star weak foot, and four star skills. Looking at his in games, his standout is ninety six balance, ninety four agility, ninety one acceleration, eighty seven short pass, and eighty seven curve. We have also included all the upgrades over his non inform as a comparison for you, so you can see each individual stat upgrade from all of his stats there. So you can always pause the video for a close look at any of them. So this is the team we use Valbuena. Valbuena in a 4-2-3-1 Russian league team with Valbuena at CAM. So now onto the gameplay, as you can see, we was performing for me. Now looking at those card stats, the main standouts has got to be that 87 pace, 86 dribbling, and that 85 passing. And in game, his pace was actually really, really good. 83 sprint speed is decent, but it's the 91 acceleration that really, really was the most useful uh, thing in the pace department, especially when it's combined with his dribbling. It does feel really nice on the ball. It does have 94 agility to help out that dribbling. So he was superb using his skill dribbles and then burst in a way using that 91 acceleration really can create himself a lot of space using that method uh, plus he does have his four star skills to throw in the mix as well now he does lack in the strength department though he is really really weak so you will get bumped off the ball when you do get contact with stronger defenders but he does have really really good evasive skills so we can avoid the defenders well now his shooting stats, they're not amazing, they're, they're not crap, but they're not amazing, but still actually managed to grab this decent long range effort, just pings the ball nice and straight, goes in, in off the post, so great long shot effort there from Valbuena, so he can produce the goods from outside of the box, did get a couple of goals from outside of the box, uh, inside of the box... He's not that amazing. A couple of shots should have been goals where he wasn't producing the most amazing shots. But he did manage to get on the score sheet in every single game we did play him in. So I cannot complain, especially from attacking midfielder. And he did turn creator as well. Does have quality passing and vision. Did get uh, a couple of assists. Did open up a lot of chances as well with that dribbling and his passing. So let's have a look at Inform Valbuena's performance stats. So in six games, he didn't manage to bag himself seven goals and get two assists. All of his stats are on the left, goals are on the right. Position map does show you where his goals are scored and those assists were created as well. So overall, we're going to give Inform Valbuena an 8.8 .8 out of 10. It was a quality, quality player to use. Perfect for a camp position with that pace dribbling and that passing ability. Unfortunately, it is really weak. That is a bit of a major letdown. But as we said, great evasively, can dance through the defenders. If you're using that skill dribble and then use the acceleration, opens up some great space. And did have a cracking scoring record. Seven and six is great from a camp. But there are better options, really. Team of the season Miramenko for a Russian league camp is the better option. But if this had come before team of the season, it'd be majorly, majorly recommended. Recommended. But he was worth a shout in a Russian league team if you fancy Valbuena. Was enjoyable to use, especially with that dribbling as well. So finally, we're just going to leave with Inform Valbuena's positives and negatives to look at. Now his price range is 18 to 36k on PlayStation, 20 to 40k on Xbox. I paid 25k on release night, so he should be available at his lowest price range come the end of the week. As I said, is worth a try, but the team of the season, Romenko, is still the best camp in the Russian league, unfortunately. Uh, Valbuena does come in with a great shout, but if you really, really want the best team, go with Romenko, unless you're really, really a fan of Valbuena. So hopefully you did enjoy this review. If you did, please smash a like. It does help out a lot. Try to grow as much as we can. Do try and do the most in-depth reviews on Scrub Builders on YouTube. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel as well. Loads more to check out. Loads more to come as well. So stay tuned for that. Thanks a lot for watching, lads. Cheers, lads. See you later.